its experience by ensuring the park meets global acceptable standards. And I think that's why I used yesterday my, uh, the opportunity I had at the Senate that if we have to, and I told the Senate yesterday that I was uh, a founder member of uh, one of the largest parties in the country called ODN in 2005. And we have done many rallies here and many, many other parties. One time the governor was our chairman of TNA, URP, and a coalition. And I said that I need to confess here even that uh, now that the governor is up and the, and, the, uh, and the MCAs are practitioners, political practitioners, we rarely have control over our rank and file of our supporters. So I'm just giving the governor a hint that if we have to maintain the global park standards, then we have to look for another space for the other good citizens of this country, the leadership, that they can come to the park, but when they want to do a rally, including the ruling party and the opposition, that we can't have our cake and eat it. We can't have a good park and uh, have people who can destroy it in six hours. You know, when the emotions ran high, and Baba said, ah. <laughs> huh? Baba said, ah. people get excited, and, and even other leaders. So, and I'm happy the governor has said, Kamkunji will be available, uh, and many other spaces will be available. So uh, my, my statement was, and, and I think the Senate agreed with me. At the end of my session, uh, including the Center for Nairobi, the Senate agreed with me, and they said, you are right. And I even asked them, you are, uh, Parliament is a neighbor to the park. I told them, in the evening, you can walk here and walk uh, and jog and uh, do your exercise, and even ask, I'll ask the governor to do an MOU with the parliament. You know, they can bring their visitors. Speakers come here, committees come from other places. So we must maintain it. And the works under, undertaken in this park include the creation, the improvement, and the spruising up of green spaces, gardens, and the lawns. And this was in line with the government quest to plant, this government policy to plant 15 million trees under the tree planting initiative. Of particular interest to me is the innovation of the culturally symbolic Nyatiti Water Future, which is meant to host artistic events, construction of the walkways, the jogging tracks, and the installation of the adequate uh, pictorial lighting that will go a long way in not only easing the movement in the park, but will also improve security. We are provided because security is very, very critical, both for the county security and for the National Police Service. So in uh, Central Park, we have a facility that we'll put because we want the citizens, uh, our daughters, our children, our sons, our uh, parents, when they're in the park, they must be secure. So we have a police post in Central Park, and we'll ask the governor to go and do another MOU with the National Police Service that he establishes a specific team that will be there. So that from the entrance, the CCTV cameras, the county security, the national police service, those people who will come will feel safe and secure. And uh, Governor, I want to assure you that this function we are doing, we are doing because we are cognizant of Article 187. We are particularly the Kenya Defense Forces and Ministry of Defense, our mandate, our duty is well stipulated in the Constitution. Ours is to make sure we protect the nation, we protect our sovereignty and our independence and the security of our nation. And that's why you saw, and you see, since this government came to power, the incidence of insecurity and terror has gone down. We have no business running a park. You'll never see us here. In fact, even the nine uh, MOU we have signed, after two months, if you say you are, you are happy with the work, these uh, great people, they have a lot to do. They have a lot of work to do. They need to go and uh, draw uh, designs for our new bases in Turkana, in Marsabit. But when we are called upon under Article 241B uh, and C to assist other agencies, to assist county governments, to assist the national government, 
This is what defense forces do across, even in the US. We have, and that's why in our ranks, in Kenya Defense Forces, you'll find every expertise. If you want to train uh, your people in the, in the, in the office uh, on to know how to do very good catering and good food, we have a catering department. You just uh, send us, we'll take them to our Mbakasi uh, garrison uh, facility. We have got TVETs, we have got medical training schools. Uh, we have uh, now your top leadership should join our National Defense College for strategic leadership. We train Kenya, uh, Kenya Revenue Authority, uh, their students from the immigration, from foreign affairs. So when we are called upon, we will uh, work with you, Governor. We cherish this city. We have, and we want to thank you, we have the biggest facility and garrisons in Nairobi. You host huge number of our forces and our facilities from Langata to Kahawa to uh, Embakasi uh, in Karen, uh, uh, here at uh, DOD headquarters. Uh, so we, we cherish counties that host our facilities and our troops are our best of partners. So the collaboration between our forces and the county government of Nairobi ex uh, uh, is a momentous relationship. It shows the power of unity and the limitless potential of partnership that we can do to in terms of service to our citizens. I also want to commend the contractor and the team that worked here for demonstrating flexibility and ability to innovate, delivering the right deadlines without compromising on quality. As I hand over this park, beautifully restored, reju rejuvenated, let us not only see them as physical spaces but as symbols of hope, unity, and progress. These parks are not just green spaces. They are sanctuaries of peace and tranquility in the heart of our bustling city. They are reminders of the beauty that lies with our communities and the importance of preserving our heritage. I will be one of the people who will come and walk at night here. I love uh, walking in, in a place like this. You know, I tell people, that uh, I don't mind and I don't think more about my bedroom, but I invest a lot in the garden outside my house. How many people, how many people go to my bedroom? But everybody who comes to my house sees the garden, the trees, the fruits. So I tell people, don't bother much about some places where it's only you and maybe two, three people. <laughs> but uh, the image, the, when you come out, the image, the image that people see. And a lot of people will tell you, oh yeah, this house is beautiful. The architect will do the outer. But when they see, one, one, one old uh, Indian, a friend of mine, one day came to my house and he said, I want to bring you something. And uh, please don't uh, reject. So I was wondering what he was bringing. Then he brought me uh, about 10 uh, fruit trees. And he told me, I want you to plant this orange, mango, cacao. So I ask him why, and he says, now I am 70, I've retired. And when I walk out in the morning, I don't go to the market to buy fruits. I go to one of, in my own compound, I pick an orange, I pick an avocado, I pick this. So this is a very, very beautiful. Serena will now have more clients. Serena, the people in Serena, after the whole day workshop, they will walk to the park. You saw in 2008, uh, Kofi Annan was walking, but the park was not a good place to come. So he had to walk around up to OP and then came back. The hotel you're going to build, Parliament, the, the University of Nairobi. Uh, and I was even telling Senate yesterday that uh, now with the free Wi-Fi, some people will leave their offices over lunch hour. They will come with their laptops and they'll do, if the benches are there, they'll do their work from there. Uh, they can make few calls. Uh, and I'm sure with the fast food, uh, don't allow big restaurants. Uh, just allow fast food restaurants. Uh, maybe a, a big, a nice, fine dining restaurant maybe in, in, in Central Park, where Serena guests can come in and other people can come in. But yeah, I think people who come to the park, they usually just need fast food. So, Governor, we are, we are very proud, and I'm sure it's under your leadership that this was uh, achieved, and uh, 
the people of Nairobi and the even generations to come, they will say this park was done uh, uh, not by KGF. This park was done during Governor Sakaja's uh, uh, leadership. And to this end today, the Minister of uh, Defense and the county, this MOU we're signing is not, uh, I told the Senate yesterday, oh, where is the MOU? I told them, you can come here today. The MOU is just to secure our presence. As Kenya Defense Forces, we must have a legal framework. We cannot be in a space uh, uh, where there is no protection. So this MOU is just telling our, our officers, securing them, as they work with the governor and his team in a transition, uh, during a transition period, so that they will tell you, th this is how we did this, this is where the water is, this is where the pump is, this is where the electricity connectivity is. And I'm sure once you are happy with them, we, you can please bring them back. Tell us they come back, they have a lot of work to do. But I'm sure even the work they will do here will be not 24-7, they will just guide your team. In conclusion, I want uh, once again thank Nairobians, both Nairobi and county governments, the governor and the county assembly for their support, patience, and perseverance while the facility was closed. The patience has paid dividends, and today we celebrate not just the completion of the project, but the beginning of a new chapter in Nairobi history. The green city in the sun is back. A chapter where collaboration, innovation, and shared vision pave the way for a brighter future for all who call this city home. Let us continue to harness the full potential of our nation's capability for the good of our citizens, always striving for excellence, unity, and progress. Thank you, and finally, Governor, we want to thank you. You are very patient. We had many meetings at Defense Headquarters. There were many days we came here, and please take care of this facility. And allow me and uh, the generals led by General Ogola that sometimes we can come back and have a cup of tea. We hosted you here for two years. Yeah, yeah, and we allowed you to come. So please uh, tell your people if uh, your friends come. Sometimes, you know, we, to access our place uh, is, uh, is uh, very strict. So sometimes I can tell somebody, let's meet here at Uru Park, and you tell me what you want to tell me. As, uh, so this is a very good facility. And then I really want you also, uh, maybe once everything is complete, you organize a big function. We bring uh, the president. In a month's time, you bring the president so that the people of Kenya, the people of Nairobi City know the park now is uh, uh, open. And I want to confirm to everybody that today, Kenya Defense Forces, the Minister of Defense, we have handed over the park back to the owners. Park management, even the security of park is not our mandate. Yes, so going forward, uh, we will talk to, you'll talk to the National Police Service. Thank you very much, and God bless you.